Hello, Pestilence here with a nifty little bag, yeah. <clears throat> My sister was on a missions trip to Myanmar, uh, which you may uh, be more familiar with the term Burma. Uh, and so I asked her to pick me up a padlock over there. Um, nothing fancy, just, you know, any kind of a lock she could find. And so for uh, my birthday, which was in March, um, she and one of the women that she was with uh, were going to different markets and they were looking for antique dealers and things. And so this is what she ended up with. This is um, a lock from the colonial period. It's an antique. And the key and the lock works. And there's the it's a uh, barrel key. <laughs> I was I was surprised. I couldn't believe it. That she went through all that trouble looking for antique dealers. And so that's what she got me, which is pretty nice. And I told her, I just, you know, I didn't care what you got me, just as long as it was a padlock. You know, it could have been from um, the equivalent of a hardware store over there. Uh, it didn't have to be made in Burma. Uh, but this was, and as I said, um, she was told that this was from the colonial period in Burma's history, which was back in the 1800s to the early um, 1920s, I think it was. So, there we have it. Uh, I'm still working on the electrolysis on the other padlock, and we'll keep you updated uh, as far as that goes. This lock is just barely magnetic. Um, so, you know, I didn't think that it was made out of brass, although the key looks like it could be made out of brass. So that's kind of odd. Um, yeah, it does look like it might be made out of brass because a magnet doesn't stick to it and it comes right off. So maybe it is brass. Kind of strange. Anyway, uh, there we have it. A Burmese lock. An antique Burmese lock. So I was uh, quite pleased with that. So I hope you found it interesting. Take care. Thanks for watching. Stay legal. Bye.